Okay, we're all set up here. We are ready to cement out our silver. Our solution looks pretty good. I can see through it. That's a plus. Surely didn't think we were going to get to that point. What I have here is uh, some copper that I've used on previous drops. I think. Yeah, I got some copper wire too here. I think I'm going to maybe hook this out of here. Perhaps, usually I just drop these in, but. Uh, might give us a better view. Of the silver dropping out of solution here. in and see if we can see a reaction. This solution's pretty cloudy, but we should be able to see something happen up close here. Huh? See the silver starting to react right away. I wonder if I can reposition us here to get a better view. Well, in the meantime, let's let that grow. I'm going to get another one of these ready. start to see the silver falling off here as it precipitates out. I'm going to see if I can get us a better view here. Forgive the shakiness. reflection in there. I'll have to work on good better camera angles and whatnot here in the future.
see our cemented silver is starting to uh, accumulate on the bottom. Nice and bright, clean little crystals. Look, the, the amount, the quantity might look deceiving. That stuff is super fluffy, like candy, cotton candy. When that's filtered out, it'll be a, a very thin layer in the filter. It looks great just like that. Super light, super fluffy. Alright, well, it's been about a half hour, so we're just gonna let it do its thing now and uh, we'll check back with it when the reaction slows down. It's been an hour, hour and almost 15 minutes since we started. Normally, uh, I would just stop at this point, take all the copper out, decanter the solution, filter off all the silver that I can, and then take the solution and put the copper back inside. First, within the first 45 minutes to an hour, the majority of the silver drops. And as long as you have enough surface space of copper. Then after that, it starts to get dirty. More copper drops with the silver. Uh, other impurities might pop out as well. So it just, it, you can see it in, in, the, in the color of the silver itself. The, the initial stuff that, that flares up and drops it's real light and fluffy and white. And then later on, if I would let this sit overnight, you'd see a dark layer of a flatter, powdery or type of uh, uh, precipitant that comes out. So, I think that's basically what I'm gonna do this time. I was gonna say, well, let's just let it sit for another night and we'll come back and take it all off, but I don't want to deal with a bunch of filthy silver. So I think uh, I'm going to get set up here and we can probably start filtering this off. But we, before we do, let's just uh, give it a little shake. Stir things around a little bit. This one, the pipe eroded right off, so as it is, I'm going to be plugging little bits of copper out. Normally, I wouldn't use, or I should say reuse, a copper pipe like this. This is the kind of stuff that goes into my scrap bucket here, my uh, waste bucket. But I didn't want to use... Uh, nice flat stock for this batch. I just wasn't sure what was going to come out of it completely, so it just wasn't part of my plan. But now I kind of regret it. So now I'm going to be picking little bits of copper up because some of these pipes are eroding. So, well, not some at all. This one's hanging in there pretty good. Before I do start to filter, uh, I'm just going to observe this for a few more minutes and make sure the reaction is slowed down. Well, I stirred this up a bit and uh, let it settle again. And as I was letting it settle, the cemented silver is starting to come out like a dark brown blackish color now 
and it's just it's got a higher level of impurities that'll all get taken out with the silver cell but uh, since I'm running such a small silver cell this time for this next experiment that I'm going to do I don't want to gum it up with too many slimes so I'm going to end this process right now Alright, what I am going to do now, since I do have broken bits of thin copper in there, I'm going to stir this up so there's nothing, not a ton of silver in solution sitting in the bottom amongst the precipitated silver. And uh, I'm going to let that those copper bits do their thing. There's still enough silver in solution to exchange a few ions here, and it might clean up some of that, uh, some of those particles of copper, and put those into solution. So I think at this point I'm going to give this a couple hours to dissolve as much copper as possible that broke off and uh, settle out, it'll make it easier.